things that humans like to do is they like to do things like sweat and cook and shower and water plants. All this stuff creates load on the building. It creates a lo latent load on the building. It's creating moisture. So <clears throat> why is this a problem? So what we've done is we've smashed this sensible load down through good passive house design. I mean, we're talking, we might be decreasing the sensible load by 60% to 90%. So we've done a really great thing there. We've introduced deliberately outside air, which has some amount of moisture in it. We, and, and then we've created this kind of thermal thermos-like container that's very airtight and well insulated that will not allow things to like, go out through the walls, right? That's part of the point of what we're doing. But let's see why it might cause us a problem. So I'm going to start doing a little thought experiment. I've got entering air into my building, and I'm using a really hot, humid day to make the point. But I think you'll see the point as we talk about it. I've got 90 degrees, 75% relative humidity. That is a hot, humid day in Virginia. My ERV is 81% effective on sensible, means that that's what the heat recovery will be. And it's 49% on latent. And my interior room conditions, this is summertime, 74 degrees set point, 50% relative humidity. My building's 2,000 square feet, average home. What I'm looking at is if I'm bringing in 100 CFM of air into this building, this is my sensible load in that air. There's my latent. Here's my interior heat gain from the people, et cetera. How much is sensible? How much is latent? And then here much, here's my fabric gains. How much is actually coming through the fabric of the building? So here's my total load. And to get my heat ratio, we're 55% sensible, 44% latent. OK, so just keep these numbers in mind. I'm going to now turn up the ventilation air to 150 CFM. And you can see that gets a little worse. It's, it's now 48% uh, sensible and 51% latent. That's 2,000 square feet. Let's start looking at what happens when we go to a 1,500 square foot space. Well, as you get to a smaller space, that ratio starts to change. We're 50-49 at 100 CFM. We're 43-56 at 150 CFM. And then when we start going down to even smaller space, 1,200, 46-53, 39-60. OK, so why is that a problem? We're going to go put, let's say, a mini split in there. And here's my BTUs per hour, and this is my sensible heat re ratio. So it's saying this 9,000 BTU unit does 82% sensible, 18% um, latent. This one does 74, 80, 71, 75. Pretty typical. Uh, and why is it typical? Because we build such crappy buildings that it takes a lot of energy to cool them down. And so we get the, net, the latent out of it because we're running this machine so much, right? So how many people, in the summertime, I turn off my air conditioner, turn it down when I go to work, I come home, and in half an hour, my house is cool. That's an oversized unit. If you can cool a house in half an hour, that unit is not optimized for that space. In a passive house, you don't want to do that. You don't want to turn your unit off when you go to work. You want that unit to run slowly, consistently, all day long, so it's optimizing in energy use and it's optimizing its latent. So the problem here is that as we get into multifamily buildings, we're getting smaller and smaller spaces. So we get these smaller and smaller spaces. Well, guess what? Smaller space, still got a kitchen, still got a bathroom, still got one or two occupants. We're still bringing in fresh air, so we bring in those latent loads. And the problem is that what we're putting in for the heating and cooling equipment, we're not analyzing to see if it's adequate. And so what's happening on some of our smaller units is people are creating hot, sweaty, smelly boxes. So in our consultancy, what we do is we design a very simple system that is a, a, um, a single point or multiple larger point intake of fresh air that we distribute through the building, but we put a dehumidifier on that intake of that air. And we're delivering dry, just slightly colder than neutral air to the spaces, which then that brings our sensible balance into, into line with what our equipment can handle. And this is a really important analysis that mechanical engineers and CPHCs need to do on every one of their buildings because this is a problem. And it's a problem that is not recognized by in the industry. This is an important thing. OK, I'm a CPHC. I'm an architect. I'm a builder. I don't give a hoot about uh, mechanical systems. I don't know about sensible heat ratios. I don't know about latent. Right. Now you don't know about it. You go build your unit. And then, and then rent it out and have people complain about it being cold or clammy or hot in there, you're going to learn really quickly. So I'm just trying to give you the knowledge, let you do this stuff. We want to see what is the sensible 
heat ratio on all our spaces, and we want to make sure that our equipment is matched to that.